this video, we will cover Chapter 1 objectives, but before we begin, I would like to state that the content of these educational videos, including explanations and example problems, are based on a book titled Engineering Mechanics Statics by R.C. Himmler. So let's get started. Chapter objectives are as follows. To provide an introduction to the basic quantities and idealizations of mechanics. To give a statement of Newton's laws of motion and gravitation to review principles for applying the SI system of units, and finally, to present a general guide for solving problems. Now, let's have a quick introduction to the concept of mechanics. As the book defines it, mechanics can be defined as the branch of the physical sciences concerned with a state of rest or motion of bodies that are subjected to the action of forces. Now, in general, the subject is subdivided into three branches as follows. So mechanics is divided into three branches, the first of which is called rigid body mechanics, the second is called deformable body mechanics, and finally, the last one, I don't have much space over there, but the last one is called fluid mechanics. Now this book treats only rigid body mechanics since it forms the suitable basis for the design and analysis of many different types of structural, mechanical, or electrical devices encountered in engineering. And in my opinion, statics is one of the most important courses that any civil engineer student has to take. Also, rigid body mechanics provides part of the necessary background for the study of the mechanics of deformable bodies and the mechanics of fluids. So you can say that rigid body mechanics is the foundation for these two as well. Rigid body mechanics is divided into two areas. Let's draw an arrow over here, and the first of which is called statics. And the second is called dynamics. Now, statics deals with the equilibrium of bodies, that is, those that are either at rest or move with a constant velocity, whereas dynamics is concerned with the accelerated motion of bodies which means that dynamics studies the time element. Although statics can be considered as a special case of dynamics in which the acceleration is zero, statics deserves separate treatment in engineering education since many objects are designed with the intention that they remain in equilibrium. So there are two keywords that you must remember. The first keyword whenever you hear the word statics is equilibrium. Statics always deals with the equilibrium of bodies. As a matter of fact, the entire subject of statics is based on Newton's laws of motion, which we will cover soon. And whenever you hear the word dynamics, you must remember accelerated motion. Those two keywords, two key accelerated motion of bodies. 